Dying. What we have last week, seven murders, 11 shootings and seven murders in a weekend. We talk about building prisons and building prisons and building prisons. What we need to invest in is more human capital. How do we help take care of our people that are here that want to change their lives? Everybody doesn't want to be bad and do crime. I know no kid that grows up and says, I want to be a criminal. No, we all want to be Superman. We want to be Superwoman. But we're led in a lot of different paths that change our lives. So this is a way to help us get back on track and drive our way into the future. Well, here we are in the heart of Kansas City. We're, we're closer to the inner city than the suburbs. No, we is are that, in the inner city, Mark. We're in the inner city. Is this, uh, <laughs> is this by plan? It is. Uh, we could have put this school anywhere, but we had to put it where people can get to it. By bus, taxi, car, train, whatever you need, you can get here. If we put it somewhere else, we wouldn't make it. So New Reflections has been around since 2011. We're actually only one of two black-owned trucking schools in the country. So we're very uh, powerful, I would think, in our presence in the community uh, to help our people grow and get CDL licenses to change their lives and have a sustainable career. This is a life-changing situation. This is something that's going to build us up and make our families come to a point where we don't have that struggle no more, where we don't have to sit back and wonder where that next meal is going to come from or if our bills is going to get back. You know what I'm saying? So, Sorry, I just, bro. Yeah. I didn't have my issues here. I had, but every last one of y'all, they gave me encouragement. And that perseverance to just tell me, boy, keep pushing, keep going. And I appreciate y'all for that because if it wasn't for that, ain't no telling where I be standing at right now. We know we can do all this, man. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. You know, I've seen a need in our community to how to find sustainable jobs or sustainable lives. And what industry never stops, and that's trucks. Trucks never stop moving. The clothes we wear, the things we hygiene, things we use, everything eventually hits a truck. So I felt like it would be a great idea to help our community find jobs that they can uh, live and, and have sustainable lives. Basically, I'm from Pakistan. So I just moved here from since 20, 2021 in July. We ended up here because my husband, he thinks that this is more diversity in this school and they are welcoming to everybody, right? And no matter how many times you didn't clear the test, whatever it is, but they give you a chance. So I think this institution is giving people the opportunity to, be, to sustain yourself, to sustain your family. So be a responsible citizen of this uh, country. What well, Dale, tell them to breathe. Tell him to breathe, he's tight in there. So I understand that some of these people may have been either down on their luck or gotten in a little trouble with the law, and that a lot of the issues are not having opportunity. That's a huge part of the situation. Uh, you know, one thing I always say is that everybody's done something, just everybody didn't get caught. And then some have ways to get out of things, but other people have real challenges and they need to have those barriers removed. Um, so it could be traffic situations, previously incarcerated, uh, on probation or parole. Um, there's a lot of different things that can go on here. So say you have traffic tickets or you may have things on your license where you didn't know how to deal with them. We have contracts with the city courts and state courts to help them have those warrants and tickets lifted as long as they're in our program. So again, it's about removing barriers. But if you don't have money, you don't have a job, how do you get rid of a ticket to start a program to change your life? So time goes by and it just never happens. We remove those barriers to make sure that they can move forward into the future. If you're around my age group from anywhere from 18 and up, it doesn't matter your age, you can come here, you can get your certificate and start a whole new life. You could leave everything that you did in the past in the past and just begin a new life. You know, you should be able to take care of your family, your friends, open up doors for other people that you care for. Everything would just change once you start changing your life step by step. Everything will not change overnight. You have to take small steps that begin to take bigger steps, you know? We basically work with the state of Missouri and the state of Kansas where we work with 
uh, most of the facilities where we can actually walk people out after their pre-release and they've been previously incarcerated into our program, which is transitional housing, which we house them, we feed them, we get them training, we secure their funding dollars for training, uh, we secure to make sure that they're fed and housed all through their training and job placement. So that means you're going from the prison walls basically out to a career. That's, what, that's the only thing that's going to reduce recidivism. It costs about thirty-seven dollars to $40,000 to house a person that's incarcerated, not including medical, not including your food. That's just housing. When versus you could spend $6,000 on a program like ours to help them get a CDL license that's going to change their lives. So now they don't have to go commit that crime or do whatever they were doing to get themselves in trouble before. It removes all those barriers. When you have a system who's against you, but you also have people who love their brother and their sister and so much to where they want to create opportunities, it's no longer that struggle just to survive. Now we win it. Now we live it. Now we actually able to each one, you know, teach one. If we had more jobs rather than more jails, then we could have an opportunity where individuals could take care of themselves. Jobs, not jails. We have not enough jails. We need more jobs. If we create more jobs and build our workforce development, then we can have less crime because people will be at home enjoying the amenities of life and not just committing crime. So jobs, not jail is our slogan and we stick to it. It, it means a lot to us. Uh, if individuals could clear their record and have an expunged record so that they can have an 80% more of a chance, according to the data, to, to get a call back, to get a job, uh, then we can make our community safer. Uh, I like to say that we've created a non-traditional workforce. You know, before we were looking at people based off of what they did or what their past or previously incarcerated. Instead of now, we're able to look at people for people. So our placement rate right now is at 96 percent because we're working with more corporations and more large, larger trucking companies that to encourage them to hire our graduates as they come out of school. Give them that chance. When others may not take advantage of the opportunity, these people and individuals will. So are at 96 percent. We're, we're, we're giving a lot of people jobs. Over the years, we've placed over 1,400 students, made them graduates, and then now are employed. That's almost $70 million that has gone back into the economy. Real dollars, tax paying dollars that are paying child support, buying houses, cars, a place to live, buying groceries. You know, they're doing things that they normally wouldn't be able to do before. So I love what we're doing here at New Reflections. New Reflections is a game changer here in our city with changing people's lives in a positive way, giving young men and young women hope and inspiration. We're not going to arrest our way out of this. And you know, our show is about sustainability, and I've always thought hearing about what you're doing is you're sustaining community. If we can't teach our people to fish, if we can't teach our people to take care of themselves, we're always going to be in this cycle a failure. We're going to keep building more jails. We're going to keep living in poverty. But if you could teach people, show them a way to have a sustainable life where they're now not making those bad decisions. They're not doing those same things they normally would do because they have something worth having. They have something they don't want to lose. Restoring hope and sustainability is a, a, a very good combination. Hope and sustainability to have a good life where you can take care of your family. Yeah, Mark Berg here today, he's making lives change for everyone, no matter your ethnicity, your background, your troubles that you came from, no matter anything. As long as you come in here with the attitude that you can, he's going to help you and push you to make sure that you will. He's going to turn your can into a will. That's all he does. Like, it doesn't matter if you come in here with sad, teary eyes or if you just got out of the prison yesterday, he's going to make sure that you have a chance to change your life for the better. She is ready. So that is all yours. That is all yours. Tell me how you feel. Tell I me how you're feeling. Amazing. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I'm going to eat today. I'm going to eat today. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to eat today.